Hey everybody, Joe Haygood here, AKM Lazy J. We're back. It is, uh, well, I'm watching some updates here. And uh, I'm going to walk around my office real quick. Um, just, I hadn't done an update in a little bit, so I figured I would do one right now. And um, so weight stuff is going well for the cruise. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've just booked a second cruise. Uh, this time we booked a carnival cruise. It's going to be going fall, late summer, early fall of 2025. Uh, this is more of a graduation present for my son and his girlfriend. We wanted to do something nice for them um, because they're both going to be graduating uh, from Cal State Fullerton. We gave them a, some options of things that we could do, like, hey, do you want to go to Hawaii? Do you want to go here? Do you want to go there? Um, they opted for the cruise, so we're doing like a little five-day cruise with them to uh, just to Catalina Island and then to Ensenada and back. So nothing too fancy. Uh, it's basically we leave Long Beach day one, day two Catalina, day three Ensenada, day four at sea, day five back in port. But gives them a little, uh, you know, feel for being out on a cruise and having some fun so and i have to admit i am looking at one from virgin that's leaving it's going to be um it's uh la to vancouver one direction and it's not till 2026 like may of 2026 so but i am looking at it because number one great months to travel you know the weather's good uh, it does have some good ports. Uh, you go to San Francisco. You go to Astoria, Oregon. Uh, I haven't been to Oregon. It's one of the few states I haven't gone through. Uh, and then takes you to Victoria and takes you to... Uh, there might have been a Santa Barbara stop in there, too, that I'm unaware of. But um, And then you go to Victoria and then Vancouver. And then you would just fly back. So... That's kind of neat. The other reason I'm putting together a video is today is because I'm a bit sad. Um, I should be happy. Manchester City won their fourth title in a row. First team ever in the Premier League to win four titles in a row. The reason I'm feeling a little sad today is um, for the first time in like four or five years, I had a kidney stone. Now, thankfully... It was not a painful stone. I'm hoping that it's all passed. I have a feeling there might be a little bit more that's got to come out. But for the most part, um, the reason I'm upset is it's like the first time in like four, I think either four or five years. I can't remember if I had one during the pandemic or not. But I definitely had one, I believe, in 2019. And um, it's a bit upsetting. Um it might have even been 2018 now that I'm thinking about it. Actually, it was 2018, the last time. No. Yeah. Because it was before my kid went to college. It was. I remember he got his acceptance letter to University of Wyoming. Uh, one of the acceptance letters he got was it was uh, it was the day after. Thanksgiving. It was the Friday after Thanksgiving. He was getting a letter. I remember I was on the toilet and all of a sudden I had this thing that looked like a spur from the back of a boot that had come out. Anyways, I digress. That just bums me out a little. Uh, I was getting ready. I'm actually going to be seeing my urologist in a week or two and I thought for the first time I was going to be like clear of any issues. And um, I'm not. So I still have to deal with these kidney stone issues. And I'm wondering if it's, you know, haven't drank enough water. By the way, kids, drink your water. Um, change in diet. Um... Or just sometimes the way my body is and the way it is with citric acid and not wanting to absorb it, no matter how much I try to take in, could just be sometimes I'm just going to have kidney stones. 
and there's just nothing I can fucking do about it, no matter how hard I try, I'm going to have them. That said, it happened. What do we do? We move on. You know? Yeah, it sucks. It's not a great thing. No one likes having kidney stones. Um, if you haven't had one, I hope you never get one. I have been lucky and fortunate enough that most most of my kidney stones have been what they call silent stones. And what that means is uh, the stone causes me no discomfort until right before it's going to come out. Now this one, I was telling my wife, I had some back pain while I was driving somewhere last week. I forget where I was going. I had to go do something, and I had some back pain. And I was thinking, like, oh, crap, this is a kidney stone. But it went away after a short period of time, probably about 20 minutes. I just took it to mean, okay, I'm having some back spasms, not a big deal. Yesterday, I had some pains in my right side, like right above my hip bone. It's kind of constant pain, throbbing, or pulsing. And again, I was like, Kidney stone? Again, after about 20, 30 minutes, went away. It wasn't like excruciating pain. I've had those kind of kidney stones. Those are the ones that you dread. The ones that don't stop causing the pain. The ones where the pain becomes so intense you cannot stand up anymore. Uh, because they are pulsating so bad in your kidney. Uh, that you think you are going to die. Um, I am still having some bladder discomfort this morning. That's what started all this. On I got out of my car after driving to work, and all of a sudden I felt terrible discomfort in my bladder. And normally couldn't be a host of things, but in this case I think it was a kidney stone because I had something come out. And it looked like a stone. It did break up from the impact in the toilet. I know this is all disgusting, but hey, man, I, this is who I am. So, anyways, we'll move on, and uh, we'll we'll push forward. And hopefully, it's a long time again before I have another one. And maybe I won't have another one. Maybe I'll have a bunch. I don't know. Uh, I will say that. I have noticed that my soda content has snuck up on me a little bit. Not terribly, but I find myself sometimes having a fourth can of soda in a day, which probably isn't great. Um, I've also been eating a lot more peanut butter lately, which could possibly cause some issues because it's an alkaline. So, if I remember correctly, that's what my doctor said. Or my urologist said, so... Anyways, uh, you know, if you get it, sorry, it's, it's early in the morning. I've been up since four already uh, at work, or I got to work at five, but I get up at four and get into work at five on Mondays. Uh, and I've just been running around doing all my Windows updates. It was my patch weekend, you know, the main patch weekend for Microsoft May patches, distributing the servers and computers and getting them all pushed out and then testing and making sure that everything reboots and starts and logs in and all that good stuff. So, um, a little tired. Whew, excuse me. But that being said, you know, be careful of your RNA health. Um, it can be a bad thing when it, these things happen. So drink your water and just be mindful. Listen to your body. And hopefully if you ever are going to have a kidney stone, it's a silent stone. Just you get it at the very end when all of a sudden your bladder is spasming and it's on its way out. So we will uh, be back soon. We'll talk some more. Um, we are getting closer. Cruise is still over 300 days away, but it's moving. I believe today is 320 days. Uh, and that's kind of big. And we have Memorial Day coming up this weekend, so that'll be good. So until next time, thanks, everybody. Bye.